Hey fellow drone nerds, thanks for joining us today. My name is Joe Kearns and today I want to talk about a consumer drone that has some real enterprise use and that is the DJI Avada. All right, let's dive in. All right, so I picked up the DJI Vada and honestly for fun because it is a blast of a drone to fly. Definitely gives you that fun uh, uh, whoop style FPV flying and gives a lot of forgiveness by the way that it bumps into stuff and uh, you get a really interesting perspective flying this drone than say most other products. Using these new goggles, uh, the motion controller and the other kind of classic controller right here, uh, it's just a blast. Well. But when I'm flying it, I, I couldn't help to think about some really interesting things you could use with this in the enterprise space. And you know, first thing that I think about immediately is public safety. I mean, the ability to take this drone and be able to fly into a situation that you don't either uh, want to enter or you, you want to like keep the safety on both parties, different stuff like that. You could use this drone to add perspective to those by walking in. You can also transmit the the image image uh, out of the product to maybe another screen and different stuff like that through these goggles. So really interesting, able to again give a perspective without being there, which is just an awesome tool in the toolbox for public safety, as well as say search and rescue or maybe there's a, a situation that it's just not safe for a human being to go into. Well, turn the DJI Vada get this guy, start flying it into that space, maybe maybe a, you know, a collapsed tunnel or something like that, and be able to bounce around and find your way inside and be able to look to see if you find, uh, find other individuals, survivors, different things like that, this product has a real use case for. Um, very interesting for public safety use. With the DJI Avada's ability to bounce into things and its low profile and ability to, to, to fly under and like kind of like, you know, pin the needle or, or close a gap, different things like that, you can use this to uh, fly underneath vehicles, fly and see if somebody's underneath a vehicle, um, fly into uh, HVAC uh, tubes to get into another room. There is all sorts of interesting uses for this drone, uh, and again, just keeping somebody out of harm's way and sending a drone in as a tool instead. Now with the DJI Avada, it's definitely, uh, it's super it's super easy to fly. Uh, it, it brings all of those wonderful things that DJI has in their products to a to a, a space that was generally for, for hobbyists and, and those that were hand building these drones uh, and tinkering with them that were not honestly not easy to fly. I mean, you know, credit to those that are FPV flyers, that is a talent and an amazing thing. But for anyone to be able to just pick this up and fly it, I mean, you know, that having that DJI name on there, uh, you get all sorts of features that you wouldn't have with a traditional hand-built FPV. But honestly, just being able to take this out of the box, turn it on, and fly it with ease, and be able to do those things uh, and, and, and get into, you know, pinning the needle or, or getting through a gap and so on with an out-of-the-box uh, solution from DJI, that's just incredible. With the Avada, you're able to pick up some of those DJI uh, reliable features that we've go grown to love with all their products like, I mean, return to home, uh, ease of use, uh, a platform that we're all used to flying, all these kind of things in a drone that's built and, and fits the space like what hand-built FPV and Cinewhoops and so on, fit. But there's really two things that kind of boils down what this product is able to be an enterprise drone. And the two things I would say, one is its uh, forgiveness and its ability to, to bounce around and, uh, and like take a hit, take a crash, and be able to get up and continue going. It not only has a, a really strong frame to it and design to be able to bump into things, but also has a turtle mode that if it finds itself after a crash, it can actually flip back over and continue on. And then I say point two is 
just being able to fly something and provide a perspective into a place that is unsafe for a human being to be. And that could be across the board in multiple different uh, parts of, of an enterprise from uh, public safety to uh, oil and gas to construction to search and rescue. I mean, the list goes on and on and the use cases continue to fly in. So uh, just an absolutely wonderful product. And we're continually finding, again, those new use cases. Now, if this product fits the needs of your organization or, or maybe have a few more questions you'd like to ask, please reach out to us at experts at dronenerds.com. We'd love to walk through on there. Otherwise, hey, happy flying, be safe, have a great rest of the day, bye.